Look at that, just totally crispy. Welcome back to the show. Today we're heading out on a little road trip outside of Sarajevo. We're going to places that are almost like enchanted, amazing villages. We're going to Mostar where there's a fantastic bridge and we're going to this amazing Sufi lodge on the water. We're going to eat some amazing, amazing lamb, which I've heard so much about and some other amazing delicacies. Come join us. So we've been on the road for about 45 minutes, 50 minutes maybe. We have another 40 minutes to go. We're going to a restaurant called Zvrada Moda. It's on, it's on a river. It's just after a place called Jebel Nietzsche. I think that's how you say it. We're going to go and have this lamb, which is basically cooked the whole day and always available at this restaurant. I'm, I'm excited about it in a big way. It's been a fantastic drive, lots of green mountains, what can only be described as small little Bosnian villages everywhere. We've made it to Zrava Moda and I'm here with all the lambs and this is something phenomenal. I was told to expect lambs turning around. I didn't expect to see this, but it's just, it's very hot where I'm standing right now. We, we're close to a river, which is in the valley over there, which is just a sublime location. And they've set this entire thing up. You can see from over there, the water kind of comes down and then it just flows and they use these water wheels to turn all the lambs. I, I'm burning right now, it's really hot. But the way they've constructed this water wheel, it's almost like what a bicycle chain. And, and you can see this. There's years, clearly, of accumulation of lamb fat and, and I guess, grease and a mixture of dust that's just accumulated on this thing. I just like how it's literally a lamb. They haven't topped it off. You can see the eyeball is still popping over here. They've tied it up with some wire. They kind of use the hooves as well that are inside to kind of keep it together. But let me just show you one, what a stunning location this whole thing is at. And there's just this lovely river that passes by and there's about three or four of these restaurants that are here right now and it's just you eat alongside the river and it's just <laughs> this is a fantastic road trip it's more than I expected I'm guessing if you're seeing the show, you're kind of like meat. You may not be too appetized. You either love the fact that you're seeing these eyeballs and these tongues and seeing the entire carcass cooked, or you may be like, yeah, I prefer just getting my meat on the plate. But I just think it's absolutely fascinating. And I mean, you can actually see the cooking process because there's five lambs here. It's, it's fascinating. I just love how the skin, this, this skin is gonna be so crispy, you know, like lamb crackling almost. And I'm, I'm, I'm very hungry because, you know, we've been, we've been taking our time getting here. And uh, I can't wait to go get those lambs. So it's been very difficult seeing all of that lamb being cooked and then waiting to actually eat it and shoot. And just look at how this falls apart. Just look at this. Just, you know, it just moves apart, just completely falls apart. There's this lovely crackling, which is chewy and crispy. Oh, listen to that. Look at that, just totally crispy. I'm gonna have some lamb with some of that skin. The skin is so crispy and the lamb is so soft. It's really delicious. I'm gonna get some fat in the next bite. Wow. It really is good. It's chewy. I mean, it's not, not because it's not cooked properly. It's very soft. It's just chewy because this crackling is there. This is absolutely delicious. It's $8 a portion. It's just really good. I mean, you do get a, you do get a slight flavor of the game. Right, because they haven't really marinated it much, but it's a kind of, in no way is it off-putting at, at, at all. Wow. Wow, I got a big piece of that skin. Oh my God. I love that they've given us so much skin. Just gonna have some plain skin right now. So, so chewy and full of flavor and salt. I guess I'm supposed to be using some bread for this, but like, honestly, but it's like, I need nothing with this lamb. It's just pure meat. It is fatty, look. They haven't shied away from kind of, you know, trying to cut the fat off or trim it in any way. And wow, some more skin and meat. So just for flavor, this meat's nine and a half out of 10. But when you think of the whole experience, the fact that we saw those lambs cooking there with the water wheel, 
you're by this river, you're on your way to Mostar, which you're going to see is really quite beautiful. This is a 10 out of 10. I remember, I mean, when, when producing the show, I asked my colleagues, I was like, I'm going to go to Mostar, is there any good food on the way? And everyone just said, have the lamb, have the lamb. And you know, I, I did think it was going to be good, but it's exceeded my expectations. The flavor is very good. I mean, and the, the, even the flavors exceeded my expectations. This has been superb. We're going to get back on the road now. We're heading to Blagaj, which is, there's a Sufi shrine, which is just really along the river. And we have some fish and desserts there. But this has been fantastic. And it's, it's unfortunate that I actually have to leave. But see you guys. Before we eat our next meal, we've come to the, the Blagaj Teki. It's a dervish monastery. It's been here since 1470. It's right on the banks of the Buna River. It's also regarded as like the source of the Buna River. It's not obviously the source of the Buna River, but because it's a spiritual place, a place where for hundreds of years, dervishes and Sufis came and kind of like, you know, had some time here and just spent by themselves and got in touch with God. It's a fantastic location, as you'll see. Um, and we're just going to spend some time here and then we're going to go have some fish. So um, just spent some time, you know, it was very nice and charming. I've been told that the best place, the best thing to eat when you get here is to go and just sit over there where you can get a fantastic view of the Teki and have some river fish. It comes, I'm not sure if it comes from this river, but it's river trout, so it's a river fish, river animal. And uh, let's see what that's like. So a river trout blackout style has just arrived. It's slightly crumbed, it's quite hot, it looks delicious. You know, Blagaj is the name of this town where this techie is, right? And the techie is really remarkable. And getting here, I mean, we, we know you've seen us stop for the lamb already, but after that we drive, and it's one of the most remarkable drives I've had in my life. It's green, I'm guessing in the winter it's white. The water is blue, it's been a lovely, hot, sunny day. You can see this is a river fish. And I can imagine just being in this town, well, I don't think it was a town, but just being in this techie in the 1700s must have been a magical experience. This fish is very nice. Lots of bones in river fish, as you can see. One of the ways you can still find God is through amazing food and lovely flavors. It's the way you can connect with the universe. And there's something about this dish. It's not outstanding, right? It's not like mind-blowing. It's not new flavors. But it's just a freshness to this fish and the lemon and you kind of feel like you're eating the river. It's $10 for this portion, which isn't cheap. You're kind of paying for like premium seating. This is the restaurant which is closest to the actual techie. So it's like you go in and there's a valley here and there's a bunch of restaurants. And so you're paying for the experience. You're paying to be here, to be close to this place of nature. So look, on flavor and price, I'm gonna give this like an eight, an eight out of 10. But for the experience, it's not as good as the lamb, but I was gonna say nine out of 10, but when I consider that fantastic dervish house over there and this river it's kind of something you should do if you're coming all this way so 9.5 out of 10 a lovely meal and now we're gonna head off to what's been the reason why we decided to come here today to go see the Mostar bridge and try out some more food over there and Mostar really I mean this is almost like Rivendale you know if you know if you know the Lord of the Rings and Mostar is really something that looks like it's out of you know Game of Thrones or one of these amazing epic movies and you'll see, you'll see all of that when we go there. So we ate our fish and we actually were flying the drone around and then I remembered we actually have to have the smokvara, the famous dessert over here. And so we're doing that, it's like a fig cake, very caramelized, it's, it's, more, like, it's more like a brownie than a, than a cake or a cookie, just by the texture, but let's taste this. Like it's almost like they caramelize the figs and the sugar together, it's very sweet, very different, unlike any other dessert I've had in, in Bosnia so far. It's tasty. It's almost like a, you know, if you have a date cake, it almost has that kind of flavor, but a lot more intense. And then the texture is all of this lovely gooey caramel with a very, very hard, crusty brownie. I like this, you know. 
get some black tea in a Nescafe glass. You know, this is, this is how most of the world does it, I guess, sometimes. There's something authentic about the fact that they're so blasé about the fact that they'll just bring you tea in a Nescafe cup. It just kind of speaks to the fact that that's not what's really important. What's important is the tea. So now we are going to leave. We're just going to have a bit more of that smokvara, have a bit more tea so we can actually, you know, down it all. And we're chasing the sunset and we need to get to Mostar before, you know, while the light's still great and awesome. So we're not going to take too much time. See you guys on the bridge. So we're on Master Bridge and it's hard to explain just how breathtaking this bridge is and how breathtaking everything is. So a brief history of the bridge, it was bombed in 1993, local media in Sarajevo said it needed 60 shells by the Croats to eventually take this bridge down. Um, it was built initially 470 years before that. It was rebuilt, the one we're standing on was rebuilt in 2004. Now, if you look towards that side of the city, and we'll show you later with the drone, you see there's a lot of churches, and that was sort of the Croat part of the city. And here there's lots of mosques, and this was kind of like, you know, the Bosnian part of the city. And for 470 years, the place went through a lot of differences in that whole period. But it was fable, like this was a meeting point for the two cultures. People would walk across, you know, people, lovers would come and, 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 and stand on the bridge. It's really fantastic. And so this was, this was bombed and a lot of people said that it was bombed as almost like an intentional destruction of cultural property. That has been disputed a bit, but historians are almost unanimous now that it was. But the, the bridge is back together again. Uh, people are meeting. Uh, if you stay here long enough, you'll see that lovers are coming by. They are still, you know, they, they kind of meet here. The city is together again. And it's, you know, right now we're going to go eat some kebab again, which is eaten on both sides of the bridge and all around the Balkans. Um, and so that's going to be delicious and tasty. And let's go do that. So we're going to go find one of those restaurants that are along the, the Master Bridge. We're going to try to find a dish called Pleskavitska, which is like a like javapi but not as famous. But it's a it's a kebab that's that's found throughout the whole Balkan region. But just look how lovely the town is. It's not just the bridge. There's probably no better way to finish a, a, a day trip in the Balkans with a big Balkan chunk of meat. As usually, it's kebab. This is Pleskavitska. I hope I've said that right and didn't butcher the entire name. This is a mixture of beef and lamb. It's got some bread, the salmon bread, and it's got like, I think this is ajar, but we'll taste that later. This is a very good, very, very, very good version of a, like a beef patty, but just a lot better. I can't imagine there's more spices in here than just the usual onion powder, garlic powder, pepper salt, a bit of paprika. I'm gonna try to have some now with the, with the ajar. Get some onions too. It has a good bite, both that Aja and onions are a good bite. But this is a good kebab. It's better than I expected. I mean, I, I came here and I, I kept on asking people and I asked a bunch of people and doing my research, where do I eat in Waston? And they said, we don't know, we don't know. We don't know what you should eat in Waston. You know, just go there and look at the bridge. I like the salmon. It adds another layer, another texture to it. Like if they could actually just put this on a burger, I think it would be a great burger. Really would be. It's about seven and a half, well, seven dollars. It's 10, 10 marks, it's about seven dollars. I mean, because I'm, I'm, I'm on a road trip of sorts, I'm going to do, and I have been doing in the show, like just rate the meal, but also the whole experience. Right, so eight out of 10, because it's $7, right? And it's actually quite tasty. But as an experience, I mean, and it's not just this restaurant, there's a bunch. There's a bunch of places to come and sit and eat. There's even if you go further up river, you get a kind of a different view of the bridge. If, if you ever are in Bosnia, in any part of Bosnia, not just Sarajevo, which is about two and a half hours, maybe two hours from here, I think, you need to come to Mostar and you need to see this and experience this. It's a very beautiful thing to see and observe. And, and this is a lovely meal. But it's been a long trip. It's been a great day. Workhouse has been fantastic. He's been driving, droning. I've been driving a bit. And yeah, we still have a few more shows to bring you in the Balkans, in Bosnia, in Sarajevo. So stay tuned for some more. Enjoy your evening. <laughs>